Welcome. Wait, have we started this video? No, we haven't. Cause we're Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to our channel, Stress Induced Left Eye Twitch. My name is Bo. And I'm Jillian. And today, we're going to try something different. So, as you know, we've done like a lot of Wish themed video. And if you don't know what Wish is, it's an online app or website where you can buy incredibly cheap things from China, most likely China. <laughs> And there's a lot of different blenders, and um, we have discovered a new thing on Wish. Jilly discovered it. <laughs> I don't ever go on Wish. It's called You're like Wish obsessed. Free same day. I don't know if you guys can see that. Free same day pickup at stores. And if you know about Wish, it is online retailers that one of the biggest. <laughs> Yours? One of the biggest. Oh, TikTok. TikTok. How did you get in my video? <laughs> if you know about uh, Wish, one of the biggest down, like, whatever cons of it mm -hmm. is that shipping is A, super expensive. So if you buy like a $3 onesie, it'll be like $5 shipping yeah. per item. Yeah. And it takes like a month to a month and a half. Yeah, so they've introduced this thing where you can apparently pick up in stores. So when we put in our zip code, they gave us a bunch of different options, but only like probably Select like items. 50 things, okay? And it's all horrible stuff. Yeah, really horrible. junky stuff. I don't know if like maybe they're gonna be expanding their inventory and they're just yeah, trying it out. Yeah, this is like new. But I have like so many questions. Like None does, of it was closed, yeah, really. Does Wish pay these stores to do this? Or are they like, here's some stuff and your only incentive is that we get people in your store? Or like, what? how does this benefit any of the stores? What I predict is going to happen, and I could be completely wrong, I wonder if these oddball stores, like the one we're going to is called the Imaginarium. I've uh -huh. been in there before. It has very like eclectic kind of stuff. I wonder if they already stock this stuff and so then they list it on Wish and yeah, they like collab that could somehow. Be, yeah. So Bo and I picked out four things from this eclectic bunch of crap and it's in two different stores. So the majority of our stuff we're supposed to pick up in the Imaginarium. And then the next one is at Cruel TZ, which I've never heard of. But both of them are downtown in our area. So we're gonna walk over there and we're gonna see if it works. So I ordered this stuff probably like an hour ago. So are you ready? Yeah, I'm just checking how far away it will be. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, guys, Wait, we're why, back. Why couldn't I that eat all the food I wanted? Because <laughs> we just did like a 15-minute workout. Okay, guys, we're back. Oh, and it needs to work out a little bit more in their life. Okay, like to dying. be fair, I have Birkenstocks on, I have, and they're not comfortable to walk they're in. They're more comfortable than flat these. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, so, yeah, but you work out. I don't. Fail. Okay, so no, not fail, but kind of fail. So here, cancel those other. I'm gonna. Oh, we went to, to me. We went to two stores. One of the stores, wrong store, wasn't the right store. But it had the same name as the other yeah. store. So maybe after dinner we'll try that other store if it's still open. If not, I don't Why? know we what we're gonna do. We already got all over information. I know, but I want to see the other products that we ordered. But anyways. Wait, what happened? We walked for like 30 minutes looking for this other store in downtown and it was hidden. It was very difficult to find, to be honest. Very difficult. We finally found it. We went in and it was a success. I got my little <laughs> wallet thing. And we got insider information. Yeah, so the store owner, we it was like this tiny, tiny little shop. And he in an does, alley, yeah, like he, not even on a main road. Yeah, he does screen printing, and he was like, I'm trying to break into like more eclectic items, like cool items. And so he said that Wish reached out to him, or he reached out to Wish. That wasn't Somehow clear. they're collabing. Yeah, they're collabing. So for every pickup he gets, 
he gets 50 cents from the sale and it might be like more or less depending on how much the item was but all the items I saw that were available were like between two to twelve dollars because Bo bought in the next store Bo bought one of the most expensive items that twelve dollar mm -hmm. children's toy but he does not already have the inventory which sends him the inventory yeah like and they stuff he just sells on his own. Yeah, no. And um, when we walked in, all we needed to do was pull up an email that Wish had sent me with a QR code. And then he pulled up his Wish app and scanned the QR code. And it pulled up exactly what I ordered and the color. And then he was like, go ahead and pick it out. And honestly, he had like five of the item. That's all. So I think for Omaha, it's like a really new thing. Obviously, we're probably going to be one of the last places to get something like this yeah. or even stores that we would want to do Postmates. this. Yeah, we literally just got Postmates. And so maybe in like bigger, more developed cities, they have like huge inventory or like Wish warehouses. I don't even know. Comment down below though, like if you have the Wish app, I, I would be curious. Open it up yeah. and see a, if you have this option to pick up near you, or like if you have a bigger range of items. Yeah, because we only had purchase. probably like 30 items that we could pick up. And, there were and there's things. two stores. Oh no, and there's one other store that does it that I saw, and it's in Ashland. Because oh. I like had picked up like, I had like selected like three other things. And then when I put pick up in stores, it was like all the way out in Ashland. And our pickup was not in like different parts of our city. It's all downtown. Yeah. And it looks like all downtown, very eclectic stores. Like yeah. Our Target is not selling wish items. Yeah. So I'd be interested to know. I know that this is like super short video and if we have time, we'll go pick up the other stuff. I, I have one thought to add. Yeah. I think it's a cool idea for him specifically to get more people in his store because I would have never known his like store even existed. So I think that's maybe a benefit for yeah. him. Yeah. Well, have. that's what he said. He oh, said, more traffic. sorry guys, I forgot to put my seatbelt back on, but <laughs> she did what? You're even showing me. Yeah, I showed you every time. So he did say he was like, I don't mind the traffic, but I'm like, have you gotten a lot of traffic? I don't know. Also, we walked in the store and nobody was in there. Yeah, like, he wasn't in there. He yeah. was outside somewhere. It was a very interesting um, little excursion we just had, did. Uh, so I know he had a lot of designer items. Uh, I don't know how you bought. <laughs> He said he wanted to do parrots in his store too, but not wish parrots. All right, so we will keep you informed, but so far that is the end of it. If we don't go pick up the other items, maybe I'll pick them up or something. Not on a Can Friday you night. Can cancel them and not pay? Yeah, so they said that if you don't pick up by like September 1st, they cancel your order and refund it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we have time to pick it up. And to be honest, we all know I won't edit this video together anytime soon. Wait, why so. does it need to be edited? I have to at least put all the clips together, Bo. She doesn't even know that editing life. Okay, well, now we're going out to dinner, so we're gonna have a fun, fresh night. We love you, and oh we'll check back gosh. in later. Literally, Bye. I wanna kill this traffic. <laughs> Okay, so update, we, me and my husband and my son, Baba say hi. Hi. <laughs> we are gonna go pick up the rest of the stuff that we haven't picked up yet. Bo won't be with us because she is somewhere else and I was like, let's go get the rest of our stuff that we ordered from Wish and she was like, no, I don't wanna go. So we are gonna go, right Baba? Are we gonna go? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. I will show you the stuff when I'm done getting it. And that's it. Whoa. Miranda Singh? So what are you doing here? Wow. Definitely somewhere too cool for me. So many odd trinkets and stuff. Okay, so I'm back. 
So we went to the store to pick up our um, other Wish products. You'll see my son in the background. So um, it was at the Imaginarium downtown in Omaha. And it was a super cool store. I don't hi. think I've been there before. Hi. Yes, yeah, say hi. Don't be weird though. And so we got a couple of the items. So we walked in. I showed them the email that Wish sent me. They scanned the QR code. And then she went in the back and she got the products for me. So it just listed them and she just went and got them. So I got this um, colander on Wish. It definitely looks different than this. It's called like a rice and quinoa colander. I'll pull it up so you guys can see it. But I know it's so weird not to have Bo here with me. I tried to video call her, but she's not answering. So this is what the, the quinoa colander is supposed to look like. And obviously it does kind of look like this, but it's very cheap. It's very thin. The handle has got like all of this like, I don't know if you guys can even see it, but it's got like all of these like rough edges of plastic on it and so random. But actually for a quinoa colander, I will actually use this because I was trying to wash my quinoa the other day when I was making quinoa and it was a bad experience in my colander. And then Bo ordered a couple of things. So she got this like wood kind of like Melissa and Doug like puzzle thing where you can change out what the bears are wearing. So this one actually is like solid wood, but this thing was not cheap. This was, I'm pretty sure it was $12. Let me look. Yeah, because I picked like really cheap things and Bo picked like a $12 thing. But to be fair, there was very little that, um, you could actually choose from so if you see on the picture it does look a little bit bigger and nicer on the picture but we'll see you can tell that there are like more pieces in there so we'll see and then the last thing Bo got was let's see she got this thing she got this thing called mini portable pocket LED super bright torch lamp flashlight water resistant hand strap. So let's open it up and let's see it. Um, okay. So it's definitely like really cheap plastic. I always tell Bo like one of my main things with Wish is I think that you can buy jewelry on Wish. Like most of the jewelry I have bought, I really like from Wish. I mean, they're obviously cheap, but they're not, like, they've never turned me green or anything like that. Oh, I know, I'm not wearing them, but, like, some of my favorite earrings are from Wish. And then, like, handbags are really good. But I, I definitely think that you need to stay away from, like, electronics. But I'll get a battery and I'll see if this works. We'll try that out. And the last thing we got was this thing, which we showed you in the other clip. And I'm already using it, so I feel like that's a win. I will definitely use this when we travel, because I always put, like, my charger and my um, earphones in, like, a plastic bag. So this is kind of nice. Anyways, that's all. Um, so, into, like, the owner of the shop, this next shop. I was like, hey, why are you guys doing this? Do you get a lot of like money from it? And she was like, no, not at all. But they have had like pretty significant amount of traffic from it, probably from people who are just interested in general with like this in-store pickup. Because if Wish moved to this kind of business thing, I would love that because there's lots of stuff on Wish that I'd like to purchase, but I'm not gonna spend you know, five dollars in shipping. I'm just not. It's not worth it to me. Most of it is just not that high quality. So, anyways, well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below and leave us a comment and let us know if you've tried this out. We are super interested in it. So, bye.